We thank the media for coming by. Uh, sorry, this is an impromptu uh, sort of a media, but nonetheless, uh, based on events that took place uh, last Friday up till today, uh, we we thought we'd make this uh, announcement to our country on what took place today. Parliament did hand down budget. This November sittings are usually the budget uh, sessions of our country. And by the illegal practice on Friday, when Parliament processes were upset and hijacked by the Honorable Bell and Nama in haste, haste and in his lust for uh, power, uh, he broke the organic law on uh, Parliament pro pro uh, uh, processes and procedures, especially the manner in which Parliament is called for, Parliament business is conducted, and Parliament uh, business is dispensed with. Uh, he also broke standing order provisions, section 43 and 47, uh, uh, for instance. And the Speaker made a correct, correct ruling. Technically, Parliament was in se session uh, because it wasn't adjourned uh, last Friday up till today. And so it was a continuation of Parliament. We, we called at uh, 10 o'clock this morning, Speaker, to give ample time uh, for all members of Parliament to convene. Uh, sounded out at 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock yesterday that Parliament will convene today. And so Parliament did convene, and uh, members of Parliament uh, on the government ranks uh, delivered what is another budget for our country in tough times. And let me commend members of Parliament who are here who just came in to pass this budget. And we will go and carry on in this government, uh, government uh, functions are concerned. So we appreciate very much. I want to encourage our country, don't get caught up in the hype of politics that is going on. Usually when 18 months is trying to expire, uh, there's always excitement in the air in as far as uh, trying to jostle for power is concerned. It is only trying someone or a few members of parliament trying to be prime minister. Uh, they have every right to aim to be prime minister, uh, but do it properly. Follow the law. Uh, the process is there. Papua New Guinea is not a banana republic. You just can't come in and break every convention and every law under the sun in pursuit of your dreams. Uh, you can't uh, do this. Simply uncalled for. Uh, our country was tested to the brink in 2011 when members of parliament tried to upset uh, parliament process and procedures and also tried to upset or temper with the judiciary. Our country cannot go back to this distasteful uh, activities of politicians who are in pursuit of power and glory. Uh, I have with me very, very sane and stable <coughs> members of parliament. Our numbers are even split. On our side, as we speak today, 53 numbers and number is increasing by the moment as we speak. Executive government is functional. We remain functional. We will re we tie all our programs for 2020. Recurrent programs, <coughs> repaying loans, as well as our development programs. We've deliberately structured our 2020 budget to stimulate our economy. Similarly, we are structuring our 2021 budget to ensure our economy has stimulus and, and the government fund is being spread right throughout our country for activities to take place and the buying power in our economy to be still uh, running. <coughs> Everything was done above board. I commend and thank all members of parliament.